Okay, so just moving on from the uh, big toe, the first metatarsal and the interphalangeal joints, we come down to um, some other areas on the outside and this bone here is called the cuboid. It's an important uh, bone because it articulates with a number of different structures and restriction in this particular movement can again create pain in the foot, sometimes inflammation in the plantar fascia. So understanding your anatomy and understanding how you assess it. If you look at the bone itself, it articulates with the fourth and fifth metatarsal, so you've got these nice plane joints. It's also articulating or moving with this lateral cuneiform, that's a, what's called a complex plane. In here it articulates a little with the navicular bone, now that is a what's called a syndesmosis or a fibrous joint and also there's a saddle joint between the cuboid and the heel bone or calcaneum. So there's a lot of movement going through here and again this is all joint play, all joint play. This is movement that the patient can't do themselves, only you can do um, and you can improve. So we often test it just by testing it A to P and P to A. If we get a sense there is restriction, we have to adjust into the restriction. Okay, so it's not just a case of knowing how to do the cuboid thrust. It depends on which way you're going to do it, whether you're going to thrust from the bottom up or from the top down. For this, what we'll do is we'll come from the top down. Let's say we found some restriction going from A to P. So if we move on to the foot, if you follow down, all the way down from the fifth met, you'll come down and you'll come off the bone slightly and then you'll be onto the cuboid itself. Okay, and you can actually grab that cuboid and move it. So if your hands are big enough, just come round, grip it with your thumb. Okay, so you've got it gripped with the thumb. Now for this I tend to take the leg off. So the leg is off. Now if you wrap your other hand around so what we're going to use is compression now, a little bit of dorsiflexion and we're squeezing in. Okay. Now we're going to use our legs and knees to apply traction. So all we're doing really is straightening our knees. So we're straightening our knees like this, we're standing up. So we come in, squeeze it between your knees. So I'm not pulling with my arm, my arms are really quite still but I am squeezing in so you're trying to squeeze out all that tension and then once you feel the tension pull through. You've got a nice little release there through the cuboid. Again just make sure you retest